Um, so here, let me let me do World Six again, just because I didn't stream it. Ready? Because my monitor was broken. Go! And then I'll go for World Nine. Oh, they're all rings now. That's silly. It is weird that Sonic's in a ball, though. At least it's a blue ball. Ready? Go! That felt mean. Got some sort of trophy for something. I don't know what. Ready? Wait, does that happen in the Sonic games? Like the rings alternate speakers? I've never noticed that. Or if I have noticed it, I haven't noticed it lately. Wait. Oh. I just realized what happens in this level. I gotta wait for the thing to come down. Banana bunches are like a ring with glowing design around it. Ah! I think I could have just jumped down there. Ready? Go! So you're saying Sega Genesis was fancy because it had panning and previous systems didn't. Did TurboGrafx-16? Oh, I think it was Mono, wasn't it? Um, actually, that's one of the annoying things about its sound. Oh, it? Oh. The Genesis sound system is that uh, I believe the channels are hard panned, so they, they can be left, right, or both. But there wasn't like a middle pan option. So I keep trying to get on this. And really, I should just probably make a flying leap for that platform instead. Go! There we go. Ready? So this was the stage go! I got to uh, the other night, and I had to give up. Because I had to, I had to, a plane to catch. But um, this level's not too bad either. It's mostly just waiting for this thing. But I was, I was having a sort of rough time with the mundane parts of the jumping. Or like this, getting over to this. It's easy to fall off the, uh, the edge of this thing.
And it is kind of an annoying level because you just gotta wait here for a while. done this in a monkey ball game before like is this the first monkey ball game with uh oh yeah game boy games also had uh, a hard pan thing that yeah, game boy had stereo Another one to catch. The smallest hamster wheel of them all. Ready? Stereo system with built in mono speaker. Yeah. Though I would say I did play it with headphones a lot. Probably more often than the speaker. Especially because often playing it, you know, like in a car with family around. They don't want to listen to a video game. Um, I love those cool red and blue headphones. Oh. <laughs> Such a terror landing on it. remember plugging my Game Boy into the stereo and playing it through there it sounded really great Game Boy Red and Blue earbuds go for now. I wonder if they were even a decent earbud. It seems like they must have been okay quality. jumped once standing in there. I wonder if Sonic is making it harder, if he's got properties that are good for this. Sonic gets his own little music. So I wonder what it takes to unlock the doctor's costume. Here, let's try one going. So 
I get to keep mana 1, 2, and 8. Did he just, like, smack that? <laughs> I didn't realize he could do that. Gun Gun can just smack the, the bumpers. That would have been really useful for that one level. Which I kind of cheated through with Yan Yan, the maze level. Soundy mix overlaps itself. It's like two, there's two of them jumping. Yeah, so this level is kind of. I don't like this level. Kind of boring. A lot of waiting. And then the stuff in between the waiting doesn't feel skilled so much as chaotic. I think that's the problem with a lot of this game. Like, just certain tasks feel very chaotic. <laughs> Probably is the really light character for this one? I don't know. If I really wanted to speed it up, I could go along the rail. I think what you're supposed to do for the speed option is just get in, up in it on the first cycle, but I don't think I've ever been able to do that. there were two levels I didn't like in this world. This was one of them. Baby. Ready? Go! So I feel like do eight stages and then you get a boss in one session. I kind of... I'm cool with that. Like, I see how the they kind of want an arcade sort of feel to the game where you want to do a thing in a session like that. Is this baby going to be even worse in here?
this baby in a corner. Well, it's a good thing Patrick Swayze isn't around to tell you otherwise. Because I think you'd be in trouble. I guess Jerry Orbach isn't around either to put Baby into the corner. Come to think of it. No, baby was a bad idea. Ready? Go! I'm gonna try I I. So I was almost fast enough to get on there, but Though, I realize now, since I've beaten all the levels, I can now play them in any order I want. So I could come back to this one. And that's really kind of what I wanted from this. Like, the one thing I would... would have liked to see in this game. Just, like, not having to do everything linearly. Like, if this was an arcade game, I would think you'd want all the world selectable. Continue. Put in your coin, and you choose a world, and it'll say this one's hard, this one's easy. That'd be reasonable. Uh, they want to make this, like, story mode. The weight seemed to help, but Mongon had too much weight. I'm gonna go with I. I also have a world nine. But I'm, I'm going to come back to this level. I do want to just Ready? beat World 6 again, though, just because... For anybody that was watching and was curious. And I did think it had a cool boss. See, this level I like. Mostly. to the opportunity to go for an extra banana here. Bonus stages are pretty important if you're trying to go for the uh, champion medals, because... Um, well, the champion medal is, is to clear a world in one set of life lives. So it's like a really... Whoa!
Ready? Go! Anyway. Oh, yeah, this was the other level that I found super hard. This world. So maybe I have the hang of it now. So, like, making this turn... Oh! It took me, like, a hundred tries to be able to make that turn. I think I might have a handle on it now, though. I seem to recall a, a worse... Maybe it was in the lava level. Maybe it is in this one. Maybe there's another one I hate in this one. Maybe this world has three levels I hate. But yeah, this one, this one bothered me a lot. Oh, making this turn at the start with the wiggle is pretty tough. What's the thing that is after succeeding? The level seems not too bad now. I guess I have a handle on how to do it. This level's not bad at all, so... Ah. That was just foolish. Ah. It's not trivial, but it's not. Kind of reminds me of um, like Bubble Bobble in construction, where like individual levels aren't really a big deal. I have to wait for the bounce to stop. Ready? And if it's if the platform's going down, it's sort of bounce extra, I think. fast, but then you have to slow down sometimes. I think about here I had to slow down. 
keep from going off the edge. Hurry up! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, oh, two, there's a spot I have to jump. Forgot about that. Ready? Is there just one? Why can't I see the whole thing? Just one jump. Yeah, this level you have to do fast. But not too fast, or you'll fall off the track. I was actually amazed that it's right here. There. Ah. Two, one, Didn't see it coming again. Continue. Ready? Go. So I wonder if World Nine is uh, an extra hard world. This. There we go. Three, two, go. Okay. So I've done seven. Let's see if I can do this one now. I do like being able to do them out of order now. This is this is better. Ready? But I wish it would had let me do this initially. Like, when I'm stuck on a level, I just wish I had another choice for progressing. And so that I could save levels like this for the end of the game. I want to clean them up. Interesting if they had, I don't know, maybe like a Puznik style thing where you start on the first level of world and then you get your choice. You can either go to like two or three, and then you can do like four or five or six, and then you get a bonus. Ugh. Why can't I make this third? Ready? Jump into the third round. I always roll out. Maybe I need to try and jump at an angle so I like roll up the wall. You can get in there, but... So error-prone. Um, but yeah, like... If, if you just had your choice of level for a while, and like, I would say, you know, maybe you only have to do, maybe you have to do all eight to beat the boss. That's still fine, but like, maybe let you go to the next world after six or something like that, or after five. I don't know, like. 
I just find it really annoying to be stuck on one level in particular and... I'd rather just move on and come back to it. Okay, so let's try and... It's just because of the angle. Uh, did Super Meat Boy let you do that? Yeah, it does. It lets you, like, skip ahead. Super Meat Boy did it well, as I recall. Um, but yeah, I just wish you had more choice about where to go, rather than just this one level at a time. Um, but yeah, I was saying it reminds me of Bubble Bobble and just that all the, like, it has really short levels, and there's not a whole lot to each one of them, but there's kind of a zen of doing a bunch of levels in a row that is really nice. You did all the levels of Meat Boy in order? I definitely didn't. Ah. This is a really frustrating... Fast enough to get in there. I'm gonna try Yan Yan again. If I don't get it in the next three attempts. Oh. Well, I don't know, there were all, like, the warp zones and the dark worlds. Oh, you didn't, you didn't do the Dark World. What was Cotton Alley? Is that, was that an extra world? Uh, like, I definitely played through... I think I did all the Dark World levels except the last, like, the bonus super hard level. Okay, Cotton Alley. I might have... I don't know... If I did all of Cotton Alley, I did some Cotton Alley levels. I know, like, the Dark World Cotton Alley, I did very few of them. I can't remember how many of the Light World one I did. But I did all the regular Dark World levels, for sure. And all the Warp Zones. But also, like, Super Meat Boy was a game that I started playing and got fed up with, uh, like, partway through, and then didn't play for, like, two years, and then went back to it and was more in the mood for it later. Like, it definitely wasn't a game that I was always having a good time with. Um, but overall, it was quite good. I think my best bet is to jump across when we're stopped. Ah, oh, finally. Let me off this horrible contraption. With a Saturn controller? How come you keep bringing up Saturn controllers? <laughs> 
Is it your favorite controller? Did you get it like a USB version of it recently? All right, so here's the boss. It's this singing bird. Is it a bird? Ready? It's got feathers. Feathers are just part of the output right? out, outfit. I guess it's still a an ape of some sort. And she sings during the fight. like bosses that sing. There was a really good one in um, uh, Mario vs. Rabbids. I think it was a singing Bowser boss, but it's really wonderful. This isn't a very. This is one of the easiest bosses I found. I don't know if it's just they didn't really do anything to counteract my continual circle strafe strategy, but. So that's, that's World 6. I'm going to switch back to Sonic and do World 9. World clear. 